Okay, today we're here with our Six Sigma Black Belt trainer, Steve. And Steve, we're just going to ask you some of the questions that we get most commonly asked by our clients. First of all, if you could just tell us what is Six Sigma and what is Lean? And what are the differences between Lean and Six Sigma and how do the two complement each other? I mean, Six Sigma is a powerful set of statistical tools that are used in the workplace to improve your processes and to solve problems. Okay. It's really an American tool that comes out of Motorola and General Electric, yep. and it uses a project management framework called Domain, which yep. is define, measure, analyze, improve, and control. Okay. And it allows you to work through your processes, thinking about what exact problem have you got, defining the problem, yep. the right tools and the right methods for making the right measurements in the workplace. Yep. You can then go through and analyze these, and it uses statistical tools and graphical methods so you okay. can look at your data and turn it into ways that can be used to talk with your team and persuade your management of what's happening. Sure. Okay. You then build on the measured and analysed data, you come up with improvements and yep. you have to use the skills and the expertise of your team for that yep. because you can only get so far by doing analysis at some sure. point, you yep. have to be creative and innovative. And your team know the, know the process and yep. know, the, know the, the business. Having been through the domain project, they'll know yep. the specifics of what you're working on yep. and they'll be the ones that know the process itself. You yep. might be coming in from outside the department as a black belt and helping yep. them with what they're doing. So they'll look at the facts and data that you've generated and it's really up to them as the process experts to come up with new ways of working, innovative yep. methods, creative methods of doing things. Mm. You'll then have a number of solutions and you look at those solutions, you'll go through a solution selection procedure. You want the solutions that have the biggest impact on the company in terms of improving the bottom line performance. Yep. Things that improve quality cost delivery. You choose the solutions, you'll then look at implementing them, you'll do a risk analysis just to check whether they're going to have any adverse impacts on any other parts of the organisation. Mm -hmm. You'll put the solutions in place and then in the control phase of DMAIC you want to have systems for making sure that you maintain those benefits, you'll yeah. have control charts, you'll have training processes and procedures and so on. And control ensures that you continue to have continuous improvement and it's not just a one-off Yes, well both Lean and Six Sigma these days are part of a continuous improvement philosophy, so yeah. they're not projects that you do once, you'll be doing one improvement project probably as part of a programme yeah. of improvements and you'll be doing them continually. So that really brings us on to Lean. Yeah, okay, so how's, what is Lean and how does it fit in with Six Sigma yeah. and how yeah. is it different? Six Sigma brings the domain process, define, measure, analyse, improve, control, but basically Six Sigma is a statistical mm -hmm. set of techniques which okay. is used to understand variability in the workplace, so variability in your product, variability in your process if you're working on a transactional or office process. Yeah. Lean is focused very much on getting flow, getting more mm -hmm. flow of product or more yeah. flow of process to the customer, mm -hmm. reducing the lead time. Time is yeah. the key measure in okay. Lean and wastes or anything that you're doing that aren't adding value for the customer okay. causing you to waste time. Yeah, okay. So it's Lean is about really getting rid of waste and yeah. getting things done as quickly as possible and not including things which aren't valuable to the yeah. customer. Identifying yeah. things. You only want to do things or you want to concentrate on things that are adding value to the customer, mm. that the customer will want to pay for or makes the customer feel good. Right. There are some things you have to do that are non-value adding for the customer but you have to do for the business. If you're in finance you have to meet the requirements of the regulatory authorities. Of course, if yeah. you're in healthcare you have to meet the requirements of the various healthcare uh, regulatory bodies. Yeah. So we call that pure non-value added is pure waste and doesn't do anything for anybody. Yeah. Value added but business essential is stuff you have to meet, do because you need that to stay in business. Yep. But value adding is stuff that you do that adds value to the customer that the customer wants to pay for. Okay. So.